Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Be sure to check out Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks. TCG Player for cards at great prices while supporting local game stores. And Patreon where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. Our patron Tyler is back for another game. He brought a five color commander with a very unique combo stuffed into the 99. Let's see how it does tonight. Our newest playmat is available for pre-order. This playmat is only available to purchase through the month of September, then it's gone forever. Check out the link in the description below to purchase yours and help out the channel in the process. Our patrons are able to order the playmat early and some tiers even get discounts on merchandise. So be sure to sign up to our Patreon and get early access to merchandise and get them at a discount too. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Cal, Pouting Rashmi, Eternity's Crafter. This is a control deck that seeks to set up advantage engines and play table police before closing out the game. Cal's opening hand contains a Utopia Sprawl, Carpet of Flowers, Chrome Mox, Adventurous Impulse, Rapid Hybridization, Fierce Guardianship, and a Forest. Next, we have Zack, Pouting Duretti, Scrap Savant. This deck uses layered combos to both control the board and close out the game. Zack's opening hand contains Gemstone Caverns, Thrill of Possibility, Soul Ring, Mountain, Goblin Engineer, Grinding Station, and a Pyroblast. After that we have Adam, Pouting Kenrith, the Return King. This deck seeks to resolve either Ad Nauseam or Peer into the Abyss, draw a bunch of cards, and close out the game with a combo. Adam's opening hand contains a Culling Ritual, Wheel of Fortune, Cabal Ritual, Felwar Stone, Flooded Strand, Polluted Delta, and his London Mulligan is a Morphic Pool. Finally, we have Tyler, also piloting Kenrith, the Return King. This deck is a reanimator deck. It seeks to put combo pieces into the graveyard and reanimate a number of them to win the game. Tyler's opening hand contains a Noxious Revival, Watery Grave, Tropical Island, Rejuvenating Springs, Swan Song, Intuition, and his London Mulligan is a Regrowth. Without further ado, let's begin this big, bad, boisterous, bombastic betrayal. Cal wins the Milk Crate Challenge and gets to start us off. But Zack has a pre-game action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Thrill of Possibility. Cal draws a card for turn and plays a Forest. He casts Utopia Sprawl, naming blue as it enters. He casts a Chrome Mox. It enters and Cal imprints Rapid Hybridization. Cal passes the turn. Zack draws a card for turn and plays a Mountain. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Goblin Engineer. It enters and Zack fetches up a Cursed Mirror into his graveyard. Zack ends his turn. Adam draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He passes. Tyler draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He also passes. Cal draws and plays an Island. He casts his Commander, Rashmi, Eternity's Crafter. Cal ends his turn. Zack draws and plays a Mountain. He activates Goblin Engineer, sacrificing his Soul Ring, targeting Cursed Mirror in his graveyard. In response, Tyler pays 2 life and casts Noxious Revival, targeting Cursed Mirror. Mirror goes onto the top of Zack's library and Engineer's ability fizzles. Next. Zack casts his commander, Duretti, Scrap Savant. He activates Duretti's first ability, discarding Mishra's Workshop, drawing a card. With nothing else, Zack passes the turn. At the end of Zack's turn, Adam cracks his Polluted Delta, pays a life, and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. Adam draws and plays a Swamp. He casts a Felwar Stone. He casts a Carpet of Flowers. Adam passes the turn. Tyler draws and plays a Rejuvenating Springs. Tyler passes. Cal draws and casts a Carpet of Flowers. Rashmi triggers, Cal reveals a Cursed Totem and puts it into his hand. He moves to a second main phase and adds a green through his carpet. He casts Abundant Harvest. It resolves, Cal names land and reveals until he hits a Tropical Island, putting it into his hand. He plays a Tropical Island for turn. Cal passes the turn to Zack. Zack draws and starts off his turn by activating Duretti's first ability, discarding Grinding Station and Cursed Mirror, drawing two cards. He casts a Conjurer's Bobble. He activates Goblin Engineer, sacrificing Conjurer's Bobble, returning Cursed Mirror to the battlefield. Cursed Mirror enters as a copy of Goblet Engineer. It enters and Zack fetches up a Mesmeric Orb into his graveyard. Zack casts Chalice of the Void where X equals zero. He activates his Mirror version of Goblet Engineer, sacrificing Chalice of the Void and returning Mesmeric Orb to the battlefield. Finished up, Zack passes. During his upkeep, Adam mills three through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and in his first main phase, he adds two white through his carpet. He plays a Flooded Strand for turn. He casts his commander, Kenrith, the Return King. Adam cracks his Flooded Strand, paying one life. In response, Tyler taps his Mana Confluence to cast Telling Time. He looks at the top three, puts one into his hand, one on top, and one on bottom. Then Adam fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. Adam activates Kenrith's first ability, giving all creatures trample in haste. He attacks Duretti with Kenrith. Duretti takes it, and Adam passes the turn. At the end of Adam's turn, Cal casts Frantic Search. 
Rashmi triggers, and Cal reveals a merchant scroll, casting it. He fetches up a dig through time into his hand. Then Frantic Search resolves, Cal draws two and discards two, and untaps three lands. Mesmeric Orb triggers, and Cal mills three cards. The turn then passes to Tyler. During his upkeep, Tyler mills two through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and plays a tropical island. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding Underground River. He does nothing else and passes. At the end of Tyler's turn, Cal delves away some of his graveyard to help cast Dig Through Time. Rashmi triggers, Cal reveals a Sensei's Divining Top and casts it. Top resolves, and with Dig Through Time still in the stack, Tyler casts Swan Song. Swan Song counters Dig Through Time, and Cal creates a 2 2 bird. Then the turn moves to Cal. During his upkeep, Cal mills 3 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws, and in his first main phase, he adds 2 green through his carpet. He casts Sylvan Library. Rashmi triggers, Cal reveals a reality shift, putting it into his hand. Then Library resolves. Cal passes the turn. During his upkeep, Zach mills 5 cards through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and starts off his turn by floating a red through Cursed Mirror. He activates Doretti's second ability, targeting God Pharaoh's statue in his graveyard, which he milled earlier through Mesmeric Orb. In response, Tyler taps his Mana Confluence to cast Intuition. In response, Cal casts Narset's Reversal, targeting Intuition. Rashmi triggers, and in response, Zack casts Pyroblast, targeting Intuition. Pyroblast resolves, Intuition is countered, Rashmi's trigger resolves, Cal reveals Polluted Delta into his hand, Narset's Reversal fizzles, and then Doretti's trigger resolves. Zack sacrifices Cursed Mirror and returns God Pharaoh's statue to the battlefield. Zack casts a Mirror Retriever. He activates Goblin Engineer, sacrificing Mirror Retriever, targeting Cursed Mirror in his graveyard. Mirror Retriever triggers, and Zack returns Soul Ring from his graveyard to his hand. Then Engineer's ability resolves, and Zack returns Cursed Mirror to the battlefield. Cursed Mirror enters as a copy of Goblin Engineer. Engineer triggers, and Zack fetches up a Basalt Monolith into his graveyard. All through, Zack passes the turn, triggering God Pharaoh's statue, with each opponent losing one life. During his upkeep, Adam mills 5 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Zack with Kenrith. Zack takes it, and in his second main phase, Adam adds 2 black from his Carpet of Flowers. He activates Kenrith's last ability, returning Opposition Agent from his graveyard, which he milled from Mesmeric Orb earlier, to the battlefield. All through, Adam passes. During his upkeep, Tyler mills 4 through Mesmeric Orb, which includes Ad Nauseam, which he is extra sad about. He draws and plays a Watery Grave into play untapped, paying 2 life. He taps his Mana Confluence to cast Ristic Study. Tyler ends his turn. During his upkeep, Cal mills 2 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws, and in his first main phase, he adds 2 blue through his carpet. He casts a Cursed Totem. Rashmi and Ristic Study trigger. Tyler draws through Ristic Study, and Cal reveals a Flooded Grove into his hand. With Totem still on the stack, Adam activates Kenrith's first ability, giving all creatures Trample and Haste until the end of turn. Then Cursed Totem resolves. Cal plays a Flooded Grove for turn. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Rashmi and his bird. Zack takes it, and Cal passes the turn. During his upkeep, Zack mills 4 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and casts a Sol Ring, paying the Ristic Tax. He does nothing else and passes the turn, triggering God Pharaoh's statue with each opponent losing one. During his upkeep, Adam mills 5 cards through Mesmeric Orb, including Dockside Extortionist. Everyone gets super worried until they remember that Cursed Totem is on the battlefield and Adam can't activate Kenrith. Adam draws and moves to combat. He attacks Zack with Kenrith and Opposition Agent. Zack takes it, and in his second main phase, Adam adds 2 black through his carpet. He casts Culling Ritual. Ristic Study triggers, and Tyler draws. In response to Ritual, Cal casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, paying 2 more for God Pharaoh's statue. Ristic triggers, and Cal pays. Rashmi triggers, and Cal reveals a Simic Signet, casting it. He was supposed to pay 2 for God Pharaoh's statue as well, but everyone missed it. Oh well. Ristic triggers again, and Cal pays again. Signet resolves, then Fierce Guardianship resolves, and Culling Ritual is countered. With nothing else, Adam passes the turn. During his upkeep, Tyler mills 5 through Mesmeric Orb, which includes a Whirlpool Warrior, which everyone knows is a combo piece. He draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs for turn. Tyler passes. During his upkeep, Cal mills 7 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He moves to combat and attacks Adam with Rashmi and his bird. Adam takes it, and in his second main phase, Cal adds 2 green from his carpet. He casts a Jetaxian Probe, targeting Adam. Rashmi triggers, and Cal reveals a Swan Song into his hand. Probe resolves, Cal looks at Adam's hand, and then draws a card. Cal passes the turn. At the end of Cal's turn, Zack taps his permanence to increase his Mesmeric Orb triggers on his turn. During his upkeep, Zack mills 5 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and recasts his commander, Doretti. Ristic triggers, and Tyler draws. In response, Tyler casts Mana Drain, countering Doretti. Finished up, Zack passes, triggering God Pharaoh's statue with each opponent losing one life. 
During his upkeep, Adam mills 6 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Tyler with Kenrith, an opposition agent. Tyler takes it, and in his second main phase, Adam adds 2 green through his carpet. He casts a Noble Hierarch, paying the Rhystic Tax. Adam casts a Lion's Eye Diamond. Rhystic triggers, and Tyler draws. Adam passes the turn. During his upkeep, Tyler mills 4 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws, and in his first main phase, he has 4 colorless for his Mana Drain. He plays an Overgrown Tomb, and to play untapped, paying 2 life. He casts a Time Twister. Zack sighs, Twister resolves, everyone shuffles their hands and graveyards into their library, and draws 7 cards. Tyler casts Serum Visions. He draws a card and scries 2. Tyler passes the turn. During his upkeep, Cal mills 4 cards through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Adam with Rashmi and his bird. Adam takes it, and in his second main phase, he adds two blue through his carpet. He casts Baral, Chief of Compliance, paying the Rhystic Tax. Rashmi triggers, and Cal reveals Seasons Past into his hand. Everyone perks up a bit, and Cal passes the turn. During his upkeep, Zack mills five cards through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and plays a mountain. He casts Voltaic Key. He activates Voltaic Key, untapping Soul Ring. Mesmeric Orb triggers, and Zack mills Misha's Workshop. He casts Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer, paying the Rhystic Tax. He casts Goblin Welder, paying the tax again. Zack passes the turn, and each opponent loses a life through God's Pharaoh's statue. During his upkeep, Adam mills 6 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and moves the combat. He attacks Zack with Kenrith. Noble Hierarch's Exalted triggers, and Kenrith gets plus 1 plus 1. Zack takes it, and in his second main phase, Adam adds 2 black from his carpet. He plays a Marsh Flats for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Bayou onto the battlefield. He casts an Arcane Signet, paying the Rhystic Tax. He casts a Mox Opal, paying the tax again. Finished up, Adam passes. During his upkeep, Tyler mills 4 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. Tyler passes. During his upkeep, Cal mills 4 through Mesmeric Orb. During his draw step, he finally remembers his Sylvan Library triggers and draws 2 extra. He decides to keep them both and pays 8 life. In his main phase, he adds 2 blue through his carpet. He plays a Hinterland Harbor for turn. He casts a Soul Ring, paying the Rhystic Tax. Rashmi triggers, and Cal reveals a regrowth into his hand. Soul Ring resolves, and Cal passes the turn. At the end of Cal's turn, Zack taps his Mountain and Gemstone Caverns. During his upkeep, Zack mills 7 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Tyler with Ragavan. Tyler takes it, Ragavan triggers, Zack creates a treasure, and Tyler exiles a Mana Drain from the top of his library. In his second main phase, Zack taps his Soul Ring and activates Voltaic Key, untapping Soul Ring. Mesmeric Orb triggers, and Zack mills 1. Zack casts Karn, the Great Creator, paying the Rhystic Tax. In response, Cal casts Delay, paying the Rhystic Tax as well. Rashmi triggers, and in response, Zack cracks a treasure and uses his Gemstone Caverns to help cast Tyler's Mana Drain from Exile, targeting Delay. In response, Cal casts Force of Will, exiling a blue card and paying 1 life. Rhystic triggers, and Cal pays. Force of Will counters Mana Drain, Baral triggers, and Cal draws and discards. Then Rashmi's trigger resolves, and Cal reveals a Mystic Remora into his hand. Then Delay counters Karn, and exiles it with 3 time counters on it. Baral triggers again, and Cal draws and discards. With nothing else, and his plans shut down, Zack passes the turn, with each opponent losing a life to God Pharaoh's statue. During his upkeep, Adam mills 7 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and moves the combat. He attacks Tyler with Kenrith, an opposition agent. Before blocks, Tyler flashes in an opposition agent of his own to block Adam's opposition agent. Before damage, in an effort to keep his opponents from searching, Adam casts Calling the Weak, sacrificing Opposition Agent to keep Tyler's Opposition Agent alive. Then Tyler takes the rest. In his second main phase, Adam's Carpet of Flowers triggers and Adam chooses Cal. Now safe, Tyler cracks his Verdant Catacombs, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. Then Adam adds two green through his carpet. He plays a City of Brass for turn. He casts Simeon Spirit Guide, paying the Rhystic Tax. Adam ends his turn. At the end of Adam's turn, Zack has Chaos Warp, targeting Cursed Totem. Rhystic triggers, and Tyler draws. In response, Cal casts Chain of Vapor, targeting his Cursed Totem. Rhystic triggers, and Tyler draws. Rashmi triggers, and Cal reveals a Rejuvenating Springs into his hand. Chain of Vapor resolves, Cursed Totem bounces, and Cal does not continue the chain. Then Chaos Warp fizzles, and the turn moves to Tyler. During his upkeep, Tyler mills 5 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Smothering Tithe. It resolves, and Tyler passes the turn. During his upkeep, Cal mills 8 through Mesmeric Orb. During his draw step, Smothering Tithe triggers, and Tyler creates a treasure. Cal then skips his Sylvan Library trigger to keep Tyler off of more treasures. 
In his main phase, Cal adds four blue through his carpet. He recasts his cursed totem, paying the Rhystic tax. Rashmi triggers, and Cal reveals intuition into his hand. He plays a rejuvenating Springs for turn and gives the turn to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack mills eight through Mesmeric Orb. He removes the time counter from Karn. During his draw step, he pays for Smothering Tithe. He moves to combat and attacks Tyler with Ragavan. Tyler takes it, Ragavan triggers, Zack creates a treasure, and Tyler exiles Yava Mayakos from the top of his library. In his second main phase, Zack casts Grinding Station, paying the Rhystic Tax. In response, Cal casts Negate. Rhystic triggers and Tyler draws. Rashmi triggers and Cal reveals a forest into his hand. Negate counters Grinding Station, Baral triggers, Cal draws and discards, and then Tyler creates a treasure from Smothering Tithe. Thwarted again, Zack passes with each opponent losing a life from God Pharaoh's statue. During his upkeep, Adam mills eight through Mesmeric Orb. During his draw step, he pays for Smothering Tithe. He moves to combat, attacking Cal with Kenrith. Exalted triggers and Kenrith gets plus one plus one. Cal takes it, and in his second main phase, Adam adds four green through his carpet. He casts Elvish Spirit Guide, paying the Rhystic Tax. With both Spirit Guides now in play, and the rest of the table a little puzzled, Adam passes the turn. At the end of Adam's turn, Cal casts Intuition. Rhystic Study triggers, and Tyler draws. Rashmi triggers, and Cal reveals Rhystic Study into his hand. In response, Tyler casts Narset's Reversal, targeting Intuition. Reversal resolves, copies Intuition, and the original bounces back to Cal's hand. This is when Tyler reminds Cal that opposition agent is on the battlefield and he wouldn't have been able to tutor anyway. Cal regrets his own existence and Tyler's intuition resolves. Tyler fetches up a Wheel of Fortune, Whirlpool Warrior, and a Windfall. Zack gives Tyler the Whirlpool Warrior. Then the turn moves to Tyler. During his upkeep, Tyler mills eight through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and casts Silence. Everyone braces for impact and Silence resolves. Tyler counts up his mana and realizes he miscounted. Unfortunately, he won't be able to do what he wanted to this turn. Cursing God Pharaoh's statue at the table, Tyler casts Whirlpool Warrior. It resolves, and Tyler shuffles eight cards from his hand into his library and draws a new eight. He plays a Tarnished Citadel for turn. Tyler sighs and passes the turn. During his upkeep, Cal mills six through Mesmeric Orb. During his draw step, he pays for Smothering Tithe. He skips his Sylvan Library trigger. He moves to combat and attacks Tyler with his bird. Tyler takes it, and in his second main phase, Cal adds four blue through his carpet. He casts Nexus of Fate. Rhystic triggers, and Cal pays. Rashmi triggers, and Cal reveals a Jataxian probe into his hand. Nexus of Fate resolves, and Cal shuffles it into his library. Cal moves to his instep and casts Noxious Revival, targeting his Chain of Vapor, paying the Rhystic tax. Noxious Revival resolves, and Chain of Vapor goes onto the top of Cal's library. Then Cal passes the turn, to himself. Cal untaps and realizes he made a huge mistake with Noxious Revival as Mesmeric Orb triggers. Cal mills 10 through Mesmeric Orb, including his Chain of Vapor. Still in his upkeep, he realizes he made another mistake as he remembered he has Sensei's Divining Top on the battlefield. Trying to recoup, he activates Sensei's Top looking at and rearranging the top three. He draws and pays for Smothering Tithe. He skips a Sylvan Library trigger. He moves to combat and attacks Tyler with his bird. Tyler takes it, and in his second main phase, Cal adds four green through his carpet. He casts Seasons Past. Rhystic triggers, and Cal pays. Rashmi triggers, and Cal reveals a wooded foothills into his hand. Seasons Past resolves, and Cal returns an Island, Chain of Vapor, Negate, Fierce Guardianship, Force of Will, and a Dig Through Time from his graveyard to his hand. Then he puts Seasons Past onto the bottom of his library. Cal plays an Island for turn. Cal passes. At the end of Cal's turn, Zack activates Voltaic Key, untapping his Soul Ring. Mesmeric Orb triggers, and Zack mills one. He then taps his Soul Ring and Mountain. Then Cal discards the hand size. During his upkeep, Zack mills eight through Mesmeric Orb. He removes the time counter from Karn. He draws, taps his Soul Ring, and activates Voltaic Key to untap Soul Ring, triggering Mesmeric Orb, milling one. He casts a Treasonous Ogre. Rhystic triggers, and Tyler draws. Zack casts Anya's Ravager, paying the Rhystic Tax. Zack passes the turn, triggering God Pharaoh's statue, with each opponent losing one. During his upkeep, Adam mills five through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and moves the combat. He attacks Cal with Kenrith. Exalted triggers, and Kenrith gets plus one plus one. Cal takes it, and in his second main phase, Adam adds four blue through his carpet. He casts Windfall. Rhystic study triggers, and Tyler draws. In response, Cal casts Fierce Guardianship. Rhystic triggers, and Tyler draws. Rashmi triggers, and in response, Zack casts Pyroblast, targeting Fierce Guardianship, paying the Rhystic Tax. Pyroblast counters Fierce Guardianship, 
Rashmi's trigger resolves, Cal reveals a merchant scroll into his hand, and then Windfall resolves. Everyone discards their hand, with Tyler revealing Dockside and Deadeye Navigator, and Cal revealing Ice Crown Scepter and Dramatic Reversal, and then each player draws 10 cards. Smothering Tide triggers, and Tyler creates 30 treasures. Adam plays a Spire of Industry. He casts a Praetor's Grasp, targeting Zack, paying the Rhystic Tax. He fetches up a card from Zack's library and exiles it face down. Adam then passes the turn. At the end of Adam's turn, Tyler sacrifices treasures to cast Chain of Vapor, targeting Cursed Totem. In response, Cal casts Pact of Negation, Rhystic Triggers, and Tyler draws. In response, Tyler casts Force of Negation, exiling a blue card from his hand and paying the two extra from God Pharaoh's statue. Force of Negation counters and exiles Pact of Negation. With Chain of Vapor still in the stack, Cal casts Counterspell, targeting Chain of Vapor. Rhystic Triggers, and Tyler draws. Counterspell counters Chain of Vapor, Boral Triggers, Cal draws and discards, Smothering Tithe Triggers, and Tyler creates a treasure. Still in the end step, Tyler casts Abrupt Decay, targeting Cursed Totem. Cursed Totem is destroyed, and STILL in the end step, Zack activates Goblin Welder, targeting Cal's Soul Ring and Cursed Totem in the graveyard. In response, Tyler casts Deflecting Swat, changing the targets of Goblin Welder to Mox Diamond and Arcane Signet. Welder's ability resolves, the two artifacts exchange, Adam discards the hand size, and the turn finally moves to Tyler. During his upkeep, Tyler mills 7 through Mesmeric Orb. He draws and plays a Command Tower for turn. He casts his commander, Kenrith, the Return King. With Cursed Totem now off the battlefield, Tyler activates Whirlpool Warrior, sacrificing it. Each player shuffles their hand into their libraries and draws that many cards. Smothering Tide triggers, and Tyler creates 26 treasures. Tyler casts an overloaded Cyclonic Rift. In response, Adam taps his City of Brass to activate Kenrith's ability, gaining 5 life. Then, Zack activates Goblin Engineer, sacrificing God Pharaoh's statue, targeting Conjurer's Bobble in his graveyard. In response, Tyler activates Kenrith's last ability, putting Whirlpool Warrior back onto the battlefield. With Warrior's trigger on the stack, Tyler activates Whirlpool Warrior, sacrificing it. Everyone shuffles their hands into their libraries again and draws that many cards. With the Smothering Tithe triggers on the stack, Tyler activates Kenrith, putting Dockside Extortionist onto the battlefield. Dockside enters, and Tyler creates 16 more treasures. With the trigger still on the stack, Tyler activates Kenrith, putting Deadeye Navigator onto the battlefield. Deadeye enters, and Tyler pairs it with Dockside Extortionist. Tyler then presents a loop of Flickering Dockside, creating more treasures, and Flickering Dockside again with some of the treasures he created. With this loop, he creates infinite treasures. He then uses these treasures to activate Kenrith's ability over and over, causing each opponent to draw their libraries, and each opponent loses the game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a crazy game. This game had all kinds of ups and downs. People were ahead and then set back. People missed triggers and then recuperated. It would be nice if we could all play perfect games of magic, but we were all human and make mistakes, but that's okay. We all had fun and at the end of the day, that's what matters most. Congrats to Tyler on his win. He fought some good battles, stayed patient, and waited for his opportunity to close out the game. His ability to win on the stack with his commander was very impressive indeed. Also, seeing Deadeye Navigator back in a game was especially fun. The most valuable card in tonight's game goes to God Pharaoh's statue. At first, you might be thinking it should have gone to Mesmeric Orb. While Mesmeric Orb was doing a lot of stuff, God Pharaoh's statue had more impact by what it was stopping. Every opponent's spell cost two more, and it really put the burden on players to be able to meaningfully interact. This made decisions much more difficult and preventing many from advancing their board state like they would have liked. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Alright, it's time for Patreon shoutouts. I'd like to give a shout out to Nicholas Tatum, Aaron Mendel, Anton Oberg, Tom Spackman, Salt, Jonas Kofoed, <laughs> Ryan Wright, Otto Von Trapp, Kvitborn Kong Valamon, however you pronounce that, Nitai Rubinovitz, 
Ivan, Thumerian Descendant, Frapril, Connor Holtz, Nathan Smith, Pyro, Dark, Mr. Doc, Profolimix, Swaggy Pants the Third, <laughs> Philip Hickey, Jacob Cromer, Brad Tobin, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Chad Hendricks, Dante, Christian L. Sutphin, Ryan Brower, Jared Smith, Rune, Trey Payne, Rakeko, Michael Hallett, Paul M. Toll, Quickdraw, Zods, James Cody Halley, Spencer Rabborn, Rabborn, Robert, Spiro CZ, Taylor Coran, Darius Mitchell, King O'Sharks, Nick, Liam, Caleb Pretty, Tonton Ton 101, Jacob Simpson, and Thomas Bowers. Thank you all very much for your support.